Elon Musk is determined to prove to the world that he is capable of building a city developed with advanced technology on Mars, something far more incredible than any sophisticated tech city we may have seen here on Earth. His ambitions don't just end at building a city, but also transporting about 1 million people from Earth to Mars, and rounding up his goals making humanity a multi-planetary species before 2050. He envisioned a clean city that will operate majorly on technology to make life extremely stress-free and full of excitement. To dive deep into Musk's thoughts, we might say that he had been daydreaming about a world where only his currency having his picture on it will be used for an exchange of goods and services. Then in a very short time, he will upgrade from a billionaire on Earth to a trillionaire on Mars and only different models of the Tesla flying electric planes will be in existence so that anybody on Mars will purchase as means of mobility. So to say that on Earth we have cars, but on Mars we have only flying cars. Or Elon Musk may have big dreams to own a world on Mars where he and his entire generations will control every affair that commences on it. That might be his reason to never back down on his ambition to create a futuristic world on Mars and also his major reason for creating his space company, SpaceX. Welcome to Tech Space. In this video, we will reveal every detail concerning Elon Musk's ideas to make Mars a life-sustaining and futuristic city before 2050. Stay glued to this video to witness Elon Musk's thoughts on developing Mars for at least 1 million people to live. Over the years, advanced technology, scientific research, and higher-level programming language have been used as a yardstick to bring Musk's fantasies into reality. And right now, he is set to convert a desert-looking planet, Mars, into a city that will almost be operated by the human mind, courtesy of the Neuralink implantation discovery. With Elon Musk's innovative ideas, Mars will be a planet where a smart world will exist. Someone like Elon Musk wasn't only born to the world to become a billionaire with a net worth of 147.3 billion US dollars, but he is also on a mission to create his world on Mars, or let's say that Elon Musk is a man who wants to break an outrageous record and be famous all over the world to the end of time. What more could be anyone's purpose be on Earth? Musk has moved further on extra miles to do what other space companies couldn't do. And his company doesn't only want to drop people or any robot whatsoever on Mars and celebrate it as a dream come true, rather they are keen to push further and send the first generation of colonists on Mars to dominate forever. After fixing Mars to guarantee human life, Musk's goal is to launch each starship three times and each will carry 100 tons of payloads to orbit so that by the end of the annum, 100,000 tons of payload will be transported to orbit and later selectively sending them to Mars at the right launching window. Now let's take a few minutes to explain some mysterious concepts about the space orbit you might not think of. Space is an infinity area without no end no scientific research has been able to prove the space's boundary. According to NASA's findings, the orbit is situated at 33,000 miles from the Earth, and it takes a distance of 37,215 kilometers to reach orbit above the Earth's equator. About nine planets are moving around the sun in orbit, and something very mysterious that happens up there in space is that each planet moves in a circular path around the sun and revolves in a clockwise direction on their own, making one cycle and completing their day. This movement reoccurs in a cycle without any force. It's natural that way in orbit. When the Earth completes one cycle around the sun, then we can say that we have completed one year here on Earth. This scenario persists as long as the universe continues to exist. So any object that falls in space's orbit will rotate around the sun without anything propelling it. The same activity that NASA uses to drop different satellites in space. And Elon Musk is ready to take advantage of the same space orbit's mechanism. SpaceX has already started the mission to produce over 200 starships per week, which will be launched into orbit then, in orbit, these starships will be rotating around the sun while waiting for the right launch window. Normally, it would take about 7 months to travel from Earth to Mars, 
But with the right launch window, it will only take about three to five months to land the starships on Mars. So, when they're ready and the starships have been very close to each other, it's referred to as the launch window. So for now, SpaceX is concerned about launching the starships from Earth to orbit, then travel from orbit to Mars as soon as the right launch window approaches. And as much as Elon Musk's goal is to get at least 1 million people to live on Mars safely without rising in deaths as a result of the harsh environment, another important thought that must cross our mind is, how can people fulfill their outing fantasies on Mars, like going on a date, step out to see a movie at the theater, or organizing football leagues for people who love football on Mars? How can all this be possible so that people don't find Mars boring to live having spent about $5 million for a flight ticket on the Starship to travel there? Or how can Elon Musk build Mars to be full of fun so that humans will live an amazing life and forget their previous Earth's activities they enjoy the most? Coupling all these questions together finally leads us to dig more into Elon Musk's next big idea to make needs sustainable with tech features that only exist in the future. The demerits of humans to reside on Mars is that we humans do not find ourselves safe here on Earth due to random toxic chemicals emanating from companies and combustion engines. How much more can we easily adapt to a planet we don't know almost anything about? A planet consisting of a little amount of oxygen far less than what we have here on Earth Humans and even animals breathe oxygen every three seconds. So with the little oxygen on Mars, of which we cannot breathe with on Mars, the surest thing is that people will suffocate to death in less than 72 hours. Expecting humans to always put on the spacesuit and attach the heavy oxygen gas tank to aid in continuous breathing. This would be very inconvenient for people to rely on. Maybe humans will live in a glass globe where oxygen will be pumped and we will always see the glass globe over our head without making direct contact to Mars' atmosphere and randomly use the oxygen gas tank only when we have to move freely outside to catch a feel of nature or when we will need to travel from one point to another on Mars. Elon Musk is in the process of arranging the first crew that will be sent to Mars, which will involve personnel like professional scientists, environmental engineers, and biomedical researchers. These guys will collect necessary samples, then come back to Earth and carry out some scientific observations and laboratory tests about the biotic, antibiotic of Mars, and also study how animals can readily adapt to Mars through the samples collected. After all necessary tests have been carried out to favor the longevity of humans, plants, and animal lifespan, another crew, this time strictly engineering crew, will be sent to Mars to do several structural and construction analysis to start development of the colony proper. But now, a very crucial question that might pop in our hearts again is, how does Elon Musk plan to transport building materials and the necessary structural engineering resources to Mars to begin construction, not minding the long seven months journey to reach the planet. Unlike here on Earth, where we can get construction resources fast and easy because we can either go to a steel company to order steel metals or visit any glass company and describe any pattern of customized glass we need for building and construction. While taking a look at things in space and on Earth, we may also want to think if Elon Musk will get building materials here on Earth and send them to space or start building a material production factory of various construction companies on Mars which will manufacture all material needed to begin construction. The truth is, for now, nobody knows how Elon Musk wishes to handle a situation like this, but with time, we will get you updated on this channel about how Musk finally decides to get construction equipment to Mars to start building the colony planet. In your thoughts, kindly tell us how Elon Musk will get equipment to start building on Mars. Please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content.